All right, out at the lakefront, and the sun is just starting to come up. The moon's still out. Right there. All right, so we'll get at it. There's quite a bit of current, and normally you don't see that unless it's windy here, but whatever. The weather's been all strange and whatnot. I think it has something to do with the moon being in the wrong place of the sky. The moon's supposed to be all the way over there, but yeah, whatever. I noticed it this morning, I'm like, what is the moon doing there? I'm not supposed to be able to see the moon. Supposed to be on the opposite side of the sky. Alright, so these are Kong gloves. K O N G. Um, yeah, you can get them on Amazon. They're designed for uh, oil people. But, doesn't really matter who they're really for. They make a waterproof glove, but, uh, they were quite expensive, so I bought the cheaper non-waterproof ones at the time. Now I wish I would have bought the waterproof ones and I could have tested them, but in the future I'll do a review video of the Kong gloves and test if they're actually waterproof. But yeah, they're, they're good puncture resistant and uh, tear resistant and that, so yeah. A good safety glove, definitely. Alright, first throw today. Well, this morning, I should say, not just today. First throw this morning. Early, early, early. It's uh, just before 7 right now. And I'm expecting to see some alligators, so keep an eye out. Make sure that they're not trying to steal my magnet. Especially since there's an alligator right there. Jesus Christ. Excuse my language, but that scared the crap out of me. Alright, so I got a crappie hook. Or, uh, bluegill, or whatever, um, shiners, uh, bluegill, brim, uh, I don't know what else. I don't even know if there's crappie here in the area. I mean, probably not, but there's a big alligator running underneath my feet. Huge alligator. I hope it wasn't going after my magnet because it's a big old alligator. Okay, I got another piece of hook. This time it's a piece of a hook and not an actual fishing hook. I don't see the alligator, but I heard it. It's right underneath me. Right underneath the dock. Uh, there's a bird out. Seeing if I'm going to catch any fish for it. A big old water bird of some sort. Can't really tell what kind of bird it is. But I'm not really big on birds. So I wouldn't know. Really, honestly. That magnet is so heavy. Alright, so I got a shovel hook. Um, yeah, it looks like a good shovel hook too. Still has a 
split ring on it, so if I find that, that'll be used, reused. Then I just got some fishing line. It wasn't attached to the travel hook, but it could have been. I don't know. So this magnet is like super heavy and I'm super tired, so I can't exactly throw it out extremely far. But even in my optimal peak physical condition, I can't throw it out that far. People be like, oh you're skinny, you're not strong. I'm stronger than buff people are. I guarantee it. I lifted on like over a hundred pound uh, table saw and walked around with it like it was nothing and everybody's like, how are you able to do that? I'm like, because I'm strong. I know I don't look it, but I'm extremely strong. And I'm just not like your average person strong. I'm strong enough to be in the strongest uh, people in the world competition stuff thing that they have. But I'm just not into that sort of thing. So I just picked up some fishing line. Nothing in it. So it's just going to go into the trash. Let me see if I can get a closer view of the bird. I don't know how well you guys can see this. <laughs> anyway. It's just like a fish build uh, bird. I call them fish build birds because they have like the spoon type thing on them. I don't know what you call it, but I call it a spoon thing on their bill. It's like flat right at the end of it. Help them uh, scoop up the fish. Almost a square bill. It's missing its treble hooks. But it's not broken, so hey. It's like a hybrid square slash uh, round bill. It's squared but it's rounded off at the edges, so not it's like a hybrid square bill. That's a nice black back, uh, turquoise gills or head. Uh, white, whitish yellow, white into a yellow belly, or no, it, it's a, I don't know, white or yellow belly, something like that. So yeah, got my first lure of the day. So let's see what else. Did I get anything else with it? Yes, I got some sort of fishing line. Anything attached to it? No, just some regular fishing line with it. Goes right into the trash if there isn't anything on it and there's a trash can near me, I'll just throw it right into the trash can. Um, yeah. So there's like bits of stuff. So last night I was getting my magnets ready and they snapped together so it chipped a piece of my of the face of my magnet off. But oh well. Normal wear and tear of the magnet. I'm not like mad or anything about it or disappointed in my magnets. Because magnets will do what magnets do and that is stick to anything that they can, including other magnets that you have. I had to take a hard rubber mallet and beat them apart. Which is fine. I wouldn't use a regular hammer because you'll most likely damage your magnet. Even though it's a uh, steel of some sort on the outside. I think it's a 
three steel, but I couldn't be wrong. So, I got another piece of fishing line and a BB from a BB gun. I'll take the BB off in a second. Throw the fishing line away. And then we'll get this BB off. I find a lot of these BB guns, these pellets, I think is what they call them. If I'm not mistaken. So it looks like there's a can right here. That is a can, that's a big can. I don't think it's magnetic though. Nothing but like a couple bits of metal, I'm not going to take them off. They're on like that. In between the magnet and the steel, there's a layer of uh, resin. So that is not going to affect the pull of the magnet being right there. Like that. So, this lake isn't really that deep right now. Normally, it's a little bit deeper, but they try and keep it as an equilibri at an equilibrium height, but it just hasn't rained a lot, so it's a little bit below its normal level. Once I reach the edge here, I'll go ahead and tell parallel a couple times, see if there's anything I can get right at the edge of this pier. It's not exactly the right type of magnet, but to do that, because I could just dip up and down if I had a one-sided magnet, but whatever. I don't like one-sided magnets as much as double-sided magnets, so instead of buying a one-sided magnet, when I got my second magnet, I'm like, I'm getting a bigger double-sided magnet. At the time, it was the biggest available magnet that you could buy anywhere and it was 2400 so 1200 on each side but now that they have the 2000 dock buster and they have the 3600 double sided main but it's only a matter of time before they get a bigger magnet too and the price will drop on the smaller magnet which is what happens when they come out with a new better stronger magnet than pull force magnet than the lesser ones dropping value like as soon as they come out with the bigger one my magnet dropped in value a hundred almost a hundred dollars like uh ninety dollars so yeah it dropped ninety dollars in price well yeah, it dropped $80 in price and then for this magnet from this magnet company. But you can buy a more powerful magnet now, 3600 for $90 less than what I paid for this magnet. So, yeah. Hit up Brute Magnetics if you want a 3600 pound double sided magnet. They're the only company that I've seen that makes it. So. For now, if you want a big old magnet, then you gotta go through Brute Magnetics. 
This is a manufacturer or however you pronounce the company's name. Yeah. Um, both my madness are from that same company too. They made good madness and I like their uh, R bolt setup, but Ubanex has them beat for power and price right now. So. Go through Brute Magnetics for now if you want a 3600 pound pole double sided magnet or a Doc Buster uh, 2000 pound magnet. So I just hit something, but I could have sworn it was an alligator. So we'll see if we got anything, but I could have sworn I just hit an alligator. Yeah. That was an alligator I just hit, I bet, willing to bet money that that was an alligator I just hit. Because when my magnet came up to it, it felt like it hit it, and whatever I hit, it felt like it moved. So, it was probably an alligator. I wouldn't get it. But, the um, sensitivity in this rope is surprising when you're magnet fishing because you wouldn't expect to feel all that stuff but I swear I felt it hit something and then that something moved off swam off so we'll see yeah I didn't hit what it was this time so it was probably an alligator and I probably swam away I'm almost 100% sure that I just hit an alligator <laughs> but it's not like it did any damage to it or anything. I just didn't like it and moved off. Swam off. I was like, no. I don't like being hit by a magnet. No, sir. So this railing is super wet for me. Doing my magnet. I hold my magnet up. I bumped up against it a couple of times. So I thought a whole bunch of stuff, so we'll do a couple more passes, even if I didn't catch any of it. I did. That's what I was feeling. I was feeling a bunch of line breaking. So I got a really nice, uh, We'll call it bluegill hook. And then a nice 2 watt circle hook it looks like. Probably a 2 watt, Maybe a 3 watt. I don't know. But it looks small enough to be a 2 watt. Alright, so I got another BB. Random chunk of metal. Uh, let's see. By chunk, I mean flat little piece of metal. <laughs> Go ahead and throw out one more time because I thought a whole bunch of stuff. Or maybe two more times. I don't know. Depends on how I feel about it. Because this really isn't the uh, use of this magnet. You're not supposed to do this sort of stuff. So whatever. It'll work good enough, so. There's something right there. Let's see if we got it. Or if it was just a rock. No, I did get it, whatever it is. So, there's this leader. Alright, so I got a leader with a small circle hook, like a half off circle hook or something. And then I got this thing, whatever this is. Uh, it's broken, whatever it is. Oh. No, I can't say. Oh, I know what it is. It's, uh, looks like a lipless crankbait, maybe.
but whatever this lure is is broken. So yeah, but I'll still keep it for recap. Still a cool find, I mean, even though it's broken, but whatever. Alright, so there's a bunch of stuff down here, so I might take a couple more throws. We'll see how I feel about it. I keep saying that, but. Sorry to spend so much time on something so tedious as this, but as throwing in the same spot over and over again. But yeah, when you feel stuff, you feel stuff, so it's what it is. Where there's something there, but it keeps breaking leaves. I think it's breaking leaves. I don't know what it is, but it does not want to come out. Up, oh. up. Oh. There's some fishing line attached to a hook. All right, so uh, that hook's no good. It looks like really small, really small uh, bluegill hook or something or another. I want to see what this is right here. Small throw, I got a bottle cat. Oh crap. Bottle cat and a really small like half eye one or one uh circle hook. So I'm not that informative on sizes of hooks, so probably a half eye circle hook, but I'm not one hundred percent sure. Could be a fourth eye or something crazy like that. Because I think anything less than a half pot is useless to fish with because you can catch really small fish on big hooks. So. Anything less than a half pot, and you're kind of wasting your money, honestly. And anything less than four pound uh, mono or fluoro, you're kind of wasting your money too. Like, who would fish for two pounds? That's just insane. So, yeah. I got a bunch of, like, staples, it looks like. I don't know what that is. What this crap is. Some sort of junk metal of some sort. Now, I didn't pick any of that up. The other times I threw there. And I threw there how many different times? Like four different times in total. And then this time all of a sudden I pull up a bunch of like staple type things. Somebody's fishing line. Jeez, come on now. You cut your fishing line off. Throw it in the trash. Well, I'm just guessing that they cut it off. Should have been pulled up, but still. Uh, throw your fishing line away. Look, some braided fishing line right here. A ton of braided fishing line. Just sitting on the deck. And I didn't see that before because the sun just came out pretty high. So there's one cigarette butt, two cigarette butts that I can see and pick up stupid people throw your cigarette butts in the trash fishing birds and stuff eat it and it's really bad for them so somebody's 